Hey everyone, welcome back to Camp Keyframe and in today's video I'm going to tell you something about a new function in After Effects called Master Properties. Um, and what this does is uh, it will allow you to edit your comps uh, in an easy way, uh, in kind of an over overview uh, way. So I'm gonna, it, it may, that's, that's not clear, I'm gonna show you what I mean. Um, Let's just jump in here. Yeah, I have this uh, name title. So let's say I'm creating this for like a documentary or something uh, and I need to, my client asked me to create like 10 different uh, uh, layovers, some lower thirds, some names. Uh, and I have his name. Uh, and in this case, I took as a joke Albert Einstein. I have his um, uh, function and I have like an icon and color at this bar. And this is just a cool little animation. But let's say uh, you need to create 10 different ones um from for 10 different names so what i would normally do is select uh, i've created this one it's in a lower third composition and i'll select all of these copy them go to a new comp and paste them all in and then here i would uh, change it to something else and then i, I can uh, select everything uh, but that's kind of a hassle so let's not do that so if i'm going to show you how to use master properties to create to do this in a lot more easy way so I'm going to window and essential graphics open up that panel and what I can do is I can uh, add the properties for these layers to my essential graphics panel so I can change them later on outside of this comp so first we're going to click on solo support the properties which will show me all of the uh, uh, properties and I can add to the essential graphics panel so we're going to want to be able to change this text later on so we're going to move the source text in here and let's call this name and I want to change the theoret theoretical physicist uh, name uh, text so his uh, function function and I want to select uh, this bar and what I did here, by the way, is, where is it? Somewhere on the bottom. Um, yeah, oh, that's uh, the fill color. And uh, let's turn that one up. So that's uh, the uh, bar color. But I also want to change, by the way, the color of this text. So let's go back to that text again. Where is it here? But I, I, um, I put a color overlay on there. So I'll do that again. Uh, because there is no color, I, can, I can't add the color for the text itself in here. So we'll need to use a color overlay by going to right-click it, layer styles, color overlay. So uh, and it's now purple. And that one I can add here. So that's the function color. Put that right there. And then maybe this little ball here. So I think that's... Uh, where is it? It's this middle ball yeah open that one up uh, fill uh, the color that's the ball color and what I also want to do is uh, I got this one and I animate this with a scale so my anchor point is right here and it scales from the left to the right from uh, I uncheck this one so it only um, only the horizontal uh, axis move so it scales from left to right, but maybe uh, I have a name coming up that's way longer and or shorter, so I need to change the width of this. So I can, um, let's see, add the scale here as well. So that's the white uh, bar scale, yeah. And then I have uh, the front bar, Oh, that's a little um, a black a black shadow behind it. Mm -hmm. Let's just delete that for now for convenience sake because otherwise it gets too much. Yeah, and then the back bar uh, also the scale property. That's the back bar scale. All right, and what I also did is this Albert Einstein his name is uh, it's uh, within this mat um, so if I go to my composition settings and I sh you can see that it's uh, masked within <coughs> this shape so what we're going to do is open up our scale for the mat and for this one as well 
and we're going to delete those keyframes and parent this to our front bar because uh, I only want to, ch if I change this scale later on, these ones need to move uh, to scale in the exact same way. So uh, by parenting them, I don't have to add these scale properties also to the essential graphics panel. Okay, so now that's done. Um, so I've added all the things I need to add to my essential graphics. So if I go to a new comp here and I just uh, drag my lower third comp in here, uh, there it says uh, Albert Einstein, great. And if I duplicate this and I put it like right here, let's zoom in here. And, and then if I open up my uh, lower third comp and I, here I see master properties. And if I open it up and I see all the things I added in here. So I have this name, it's function and the colors. So let's say I want to create a different uh, name first. And we need to change that by right clicking this and edit the value. And here I can see, uh, I can edit the value. Uh, and let's call this uh, Nikolai, Nikola Tesla. Okay. And there it changes in here, but not in here. So the comp has changed, but if I go into the comp, it's still Albert Einstein. That's the, the source. But uh, on this one, on this particular comp, um, so let's uh, call this uh, Nikola Tesla and let's call this Albert Einstein. And uh, this hasn't changed. That's great. And function for uh, added value. And he was an electrical engineer and a physicist, if I'm typing it right, I think so. And you can see already that's too long for this uh, for this bar. So I'm going to go to the white bar scale and it actually copied my, it shows my keyframes here as well. So I'm going to go here and the white bar scale should be uh, something like, like this. And you can see that the, uh, the mat also um, got wider because it is parented to this white bar. So the mask is also visible now. And this one, Let's put it at uh, 100 as well. Yeah, so now that looks great. And I want to change the color of his function to uh, like a blue or something. Copy that. And then the bar color as well. And the ball color as well. So now I have this. Let's turn this one off. I have this new uh, name title with different colors and with different text, but it's all the same comp. I don't have to copy them and create all these different comps. I can just, uh, every time every time I need to create a new one, I can just drag the lower third in, or I can duplicate this one. So let's duplicate this again, uh, put, it, put it here, like this. And then, Let's call this um, bell and master properties. And then we're going to edit the value to uh, Alexander Graham Bell. Should be a cool conference with all these people showing up. And his function would be a scientist inventor and engineer and as well here I'm going to the white bar needs to be a bit longer like that 115 this one as well all right cool and we're going to uh, get another color like maybe make this pinkish one copy and paste and paste as well and now I have these three different colors and what I can also do if I say hey I really like this um, uh, pink one I want to I want to also want Nikola Tesla to have this these pink colors uh, or Albert Einstein or whatever I have these different uh, buttons here and what this does is this one if you hover it pull from master comp and this one says push to master comp so if I'm if I want, if I say that, oh, I really like this uh, pur uh, 
this pink one. Let's push it to the master comp. So everything that, that's not been uh, changed with the master properties will turn uh, pink. So if I push the function color to master comp, then my theoret theoretical physicist from Albert Einstein will also change to um, a pink. Here you can see that it also is pink. And then I can go to Nikola Tesla, open that one up and go to function color and let's say pull from master comp. And then now that also becomes um, pink. Nice. So uh, that's it. That's master uh, properties. Yeah. Cool. That's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something and I hope to see you on the next Camp Keyframe tutorial. Thanks. Bye bye.